Today we're going to be showing you how to put together this mushroom farm. We purchased this mushroom farm over at Whole Foods, but what I wanted to talk to you about was the company. The company's name is Back to the Roots, and when you purchase this mushroom farm, I just need to turn the box to the side here. Back to the Roots has a program called Grow One, Give One. And what you do is you share your photo on their Facebook page and we'll, and they will gift a mushroom farm to the elementary school classroom of your choice. Now, we don't have any kids right now that are in elementary school and we don't know any kids that are in elementary school. My husband has already sent an email over to the company and they said it would be okay if we just had a little contest and if you have a child that's in elementary school if you're an elementary school teacher if you um, have nieces nephews grandkids that are in elementary school or just know a, a kid in the neighborhood that's in elementary school and you would like to nominate their teacher and classroom to receive one of these mushroom farms um, all you have to do is say in the comments, I'm in. Please at this time do not give us the name of the classroom that you want to nominate. Okay, with the Grow One Give One, um, we checked before we did this video with the company to see if this was a worldwide or if this was US only. All you have to do is say, I'm in, in the comments, and you have until the 15th of March to say, I'm in, and everybody that says, I'm in, all the way through the 15th of March, you're in the contest. Um, it's an organic mushroom farm, and you can harvest in 10 days. So we're going to open up the kit and show you what is inside. Now my husband's going to open the box for us. So we can see what all is inside. Okay. It's a little spritzer. Okay, there's a little spritzer that comes with it. And there's a bag of coffee grounds and mushroom spores and a pack of heirloom cherry tomatoes okay they've they've got um, pre-cut area that you're going to punch out of the box we'll, we're going to do that first then we're going to put the mushroom spores and coffee grounds bag back into this box and per the instructions my husband is going to uh, take and cut an X on the bag and the next thing we're going to have to do is um, take remove the bag again out of the box and we're going to put it into this container where it's going to have to soak for eight hours and then after eight hours we'll come back and we'll put it back in the box and we'll have to um, we'll go over the instructions of what to do afterwards so first thing through the magic of YouTube we're going to punch out this um, area on the box so now we put the bag into the box and my husband's getting ready to cut like it says here on the box to cut um, an, an X here okay And then it said also to lightly uh, scrape off some of the white to promote growth. But uh, we, I guess we need to read if that was before or after we soak it. So you, you'll let, cut it back and they'll actually grow out of that part. Okay, so does it say to cut the white off now? Yeah, right now. Right now we're supposed to scrape off some of the white 
promote growth and then the next thing we're going to do is going to be putting taking it back out of the box and putting it in here and some water to soak for eight hours okay, okay. all right for now uh, and through the magic of YouTube we'll be back in less than eight hours okay where we left off was we put this um, block that came out of the box into a tub of water for eight hours and per the instructions the block should be floating and as you can see I've got enough water in here so it's floating so now it's time to take it out of the water and we're going to take our box that it came in and this is the side that we um, punched the hole out of and if you notice the um, the piece that came out actually has a recipe for oyster mushroom tacos so keep hold on to your little pieces that you punch out the other one on that we're going to punch out for the second time because you can do this twice it also has something on the back side because on the front it just has a picture of the mushroom farm okay so now my husband's going to take this out of here and we're going to place it into this box and let me move this out of the way so that the X that we cut last night is going to be just showing through this hole that we punched out in the box and you see there's the X there you go that's the pieces that we had to punch out before we put it in the water okay we went ahead and closed the lid of the mushroom back together and what they recommend you do is take these pieces that you cut and pull them back to give the mushrooms room to grow so um, we'll take pictures of the mushrooms as they grow along and then we'll have an update video later on what we have to do is set the box near a window but we need to avoid direct sunlight we have to keep them moist by spraying with water on the scraped area until the mushrooms are fully grown and then we can harvest three to four days after sprouting okay this is the little spray bottle that comes with it this is what we'll be spritzing it uh, with um, you know during the time until they're harvested okay and now I think my husband's gonna take off and take these heirloom red cherry tomatoes and plant them because he's been dying to plant these so I guess for now we'll just leave you with the picture of this little bird over here gotta zoom in He's been tweeting happily through all through the video. So I guess for now, we'll just say, Happy Farming! Happy farming.